take a look at some space, space shit here real Honey. quick if we possibly can. I don't know if you guys saw this this week, but a Finnish uh, astrophotographer spent 12 Ooh, nice. years creating a Milky Way mosaic. Obviously, this is not the full resolution. It's something crazy like 100 plus thousand pixels across. It's gigantic of sewing photography together, but that's us, dude. Yeah, dude. How fucking cool you is got, that? You got to have six syllables in the name of your job to take a picture like that, man. <laughs> Astrophotographer? Yeah. Yeah, bro. That's only for the six syllable jobs, man. That's up there. Damn. Very fucking cool. Very fucking cool. I'll tell you what else it. is very fucking cool, Phil. It's not just photography that's on this amazing level like this. In addition to that, here on Earth, we're making some great fucking strides. I don't know if you got a chance to watch it live this week, but goddamn, NASA's God largest damn. rocket element ever nails the hot fire test. Now, some of y'all might hot remember fire. that first hot, hot fire, fire test they did. They had to shut it down after two minutes. There was a little bit of a problem. They didn't want to fuck it up. Okay, I understand that thing happens. So they're looking for an eight-minute burn. So that's how long it would take this thing to send cargo to the moon. This is the big fat rockets to take the cargo. This is uh, for the Artemis missions, which are supposed to take permanent people out to the fucking moon. They're testing that. Basically, what they do is they get the big-ass goddamn rockets out there that could send something that big to the moon, and they take that thing, and they get some big-ass clamps, and they clamp that motherfucker to the ground. And then they just fire it off, and they try to hang the hell on, essentially, is what happens Holy with one of these shit. hot fire tests. They shoot it just as hard as it would take for the motherfucker to go to the moon, but they keep it clamped onto the ground. It's crazy. And they successfully they did it. That's it, I imagine, yeah. Yeah, a lot better than blowing it up in the air or fucking well sure. forbid with people on it. You know what I mean? They had to use yeah. the clamps. These clamps sure that work. I use every day. At every opportunity, yes, I'm going to clamp them. So they clamped it the fuck down, and they did it for over fucking eight minutes. And you might be out there saying, hold up. Now, it's well and good to drink. hear about this, but I want to see some actual footage of this hot fire oh, test. Tell well, you have some G. I got your back, fam. This is the Fright Power Hour. Check this shit out. Woo! Oh, man, this is the straight dopeness. You know, I love big machines, man. Oh, shit, yeah, Miracle dude. of modern science and technology, you know? Is that, that is water? Fucking... They yeah, they spray it. lots of nitrogen. Well, oh, there's all kind of cooling stuff happening as well. And we're in the oh, oh, my shit, God. Dude. 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 God damn it. And remember, they're basically just hang had they are hanging on for dear life to keep this thing on the ground. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Dude. Dude, that is fucking sweet, man. Look at all that smoke. All right, Dude, what a that's a white flame. That's beyond blue heat. That is yep. white hot. Yep. That's what it takes to get off the earth, bro. Man. How wow. fucking cool. How fucking cool. That is cool, super man. cool, man. You know, we're uh, we're getting closer. It's one day at a time. And by the way, correct out there in the chat, this is not all exhaust. A lot of it is steam. Use water cooling under high pressure, the same thing they would at a nuclear reactor, or the same way right. they would. Um, it's not nearly the p amount of pollution that it looks like. But, <laughs> right. I, I mean, we're taking these steps we, day after day, week after week. We're getting better and better at this. It's only a fucking matter of time. We're getting ready to build a goddamn colony on the moon. I mean, it's a hell of a time to be a dead guy in America. You know what I mean? But that being Damn. the case, we got to bring mm -hmm. that fucking mm -hmm. capitalism out there to the moon, too. I can't wait to go to the fucking first lunar hotel, casino, strip club, gas station, oil change, and nail place all combined into one. I'm really looking forward to that, man. I'm really yeah. looking forward to that. And by the way, let's take a look real quick at the bottom of your screen. I know we're getting close. And see how close we are to our I, $55 I million dollar target in order to buy oh, tickets man. to the moon. We're close. We so Woo. close. Let's get this ghost we to are the really moon, close. people. Thank you to everybody we that's helping so us get there. We are so close. Mm. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Jack the Ripper is we're right. Make, oh, a, a gun range up there as well. You got to seal the fuck out of it, but you're exactly right. Now, 
as we're getting ready to get out there, we're already creating jobs out in space. You know what I mean? We're already mm -hmm. having to, to create ways to have society in space. And those building blocks are coming together one little piece at a time. One of those things that you don't recognize is crucial to society to for society Crush. to function. It's super crucial. We need them out there as parking lots. There ain't no yeah. parking lots in space until today. Let's take a look at the screen. Oh, Soyuz crew shit. relocate spacecraft to new space station parking spot. They're up nice. there moving cars around. There's valet in space now. Duh. Holy no. shit. You give that motherfucker a little I mean, 10 bucks, they move your spaceship over to another spot. That means they have multiple spots at the space station. They're ready for this hell shit. Yeah, you bro, know what I mean? That's it. They got to they gotta set it up for when people come to the mini mall over at the space yeah. station stop-off point. You yeah, know, before I'm, they I'm the just a day trip to the mall because I want to ride the roller coaster. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, man. Just as quick and dirty, dude. So they already got a parking lot. We're getting close up there. In addition to that, you know what you always need? Janitorial staff. The Swedes have been working. Working on this for a while, but we're getting close. Space Watch mission to clean up space debris set for launch. And of course, yeah, this is because they've seen that goddamn uh, Fright Power Hour, and they know that, like you said, Phil, we are responsible for a fair amount of space trash as we have several put trains, several yeah. trains out there. But look, uh, like Zorg, we're creating jobs now. They're sending people up there, and their job is to clean all that shit up. You love to see it. Job creation, even in fucking space. And I tell you what, as usual, when things start to get profitable, the government got to reach in and regulate something. So here we go. SpaceX and NASA sign a space flight safety agreement to avoid collisions. Let me just give you a second with that, friends. Damn. To avoid collisions. That means there's so that much means. goddamn space traffic. We are sending enough spaceships out into fucking low Earth orbit. Low Earth orbit that there's the possibility low that they Earth could orbit. run into each other. So now we got to create new FAA regulations that completely new height bands to make sure these assholes don't hit each other while they're in a place that has no oxygen. That's Shoot. fucking crazy, man. Yeah. But I'll tell you, when all of this happens, uh, we talked a little about it last week, but when you get to space, you want to make sure there's a way to preserve our way of life on Earth no matter where we go. If we terraform a place to be more like Earth, well, then maybe we should bring some of Earth's life with us. You know that people love to merge their technology and their religion together whenever they possibly can. So I, for one, am for this particular thing. Scientists want to build a solar-powered ark on the moon to protect Whoa, Earth's species. dude, that's awesome. Holy shit, man. There's a game called Ark. Now, guys, obviously, they're not like two of every animal. This ain't the Bible. They're talking about genetic material where you can clone them or make them or whatever the fuck, man. They preserve embryos or whatever the fuck it is they do. But, dude, how cool is that? We're building up so much shit on the moon that we're like, well, may as well fucking pack all of our species out there. God, I hope they never fucking escape. Oh boy, it could be a mess on tardigrades? the moon. Once they run into those giant tardigrades, we could be looking at full-scale lunar warfare, Phil. God damn. Boy. Talking about venomized turtles in space. Venomized turtles in uh. space. And they haven't even gotten started on the fucking space weather, but I can't wait to get there. And when we do, I got 50 on black, baby. Woo! I'm right. not a criminal. I'm an artist working in an unpopular medium. Can I just... Can I just speak to you, I mean, really speak to you, like, like man to man. I've known you for a long time, William. And I know about your penchant for space.